Hey guys, welcome back to Bruno's Math Club. Today I'm going to be doing the summary for multiplying and dividing fractions and mixed numbers. Now I just want to say that since this is the last topic video for this chapter, I'm not going to be necessarily covering each and every topic that we covered, but I'm just going to be covering those main things that I need that I think you need to like review. So for example, I'm going to be doing multiplying a whole number by a fraction first. So let's say that we have a fraction such as 5 over 7 and we have to multiply that by a whole number such as 3. Now keep this in mind, before you go anywhere else, you need to see that the whole number doesn't have a denominator, right? So remember this, any whole number that does not have a denominator, always the denominator always equals 1. So what you're going to do is you're going to write 1 as your denominator, and now you have 5 sevenths times 3 over 1. And remember that when you're multiplying fractions, you're just doing direct multiplication. So 5 times 3, we all know, is 15. And 7 times 1, we all know, is 7. Now, if you can see, our answer for our um, fractions is 15 over 7, which is an improper fraction. So we need to change this into a mixed number. How do we do that? Well, all we have to do is divide the numerator by the denominator. So 15 divided by 7. So if we come over here and do 15 divided by 7, we know that we can divide 1 divided by 7, so we're going to have to make that a Combine the 5, so that becomes 15. 7 goes into 15 how many times? Well, we know that 7 times 2 is 14, right? So if we do 7 times 2 is 14, we get a remainder of 1. And what we have to do is we're going to bring the remainder up over here by the quotient and write R1 for remainder 1. So now we have our quotient, so how do we make that into a mixed number? Well, it's really simple. Your quotient becomes your whole number. So 15 over 7, the quotient, which is 2, becomes your whole number. So that's 2. The, the, your remainder becomes your numerator. So your remainder was 1 in this case. So that becomes your numerator. And your denominator is your divisor, the number that you divided by, which is 7. So that becomes your denominator. So now we know that 5 over 7 times 3 over 1 equals 15 over 7. Or in mixed number form, it becomes 2 and 1 sevenths. So that's that for multiplying a whole number by a fraction. Now let's say that we have two fractions and we have to multiply those together. So for instance, our two fractions could be 3 fifths times 6 ninths. Okay, so we have our two fractions and now all we have to do is do dark multiplication. So we all know that 3 times 6 equals 18 and 5 times 9 equals 45. Now, we got our answer, but it's important to make your answer into simplest form. So if you look at this, can we divide, is there any number that we can divide both of these by that they, it can, it's divisible by? Well, if we can't do 2, because we can still do two, 18 divided by 2, but 45 divided by 2 won't give us an exact answer. What if we do 3? So 18 divided by 3 and 45 divided by 3. We know that 18 divided by 3 equals 6, and 45 divided by 3 equals 15. So yes, we can do it by 3, right? So that means our answer in simplest form equals 6 over 15. So 3 over 5 times 6 over 9 equals 18 over 45, or simplified, it equals 6 over 15. So that's um, that for multiplying two fractions. Now what if we still have, we're still working with fractions, but this time we have mixed numbers and we have to multiply two mixed numbers. So, let's see. What if we have 5 and 2 thirds times 6 and 1 fifths? Okay, so we have our two mixed numbers and we have to multiply them. Now keep this in mind. Whenever you have two mixed numbers, you always, always, always need to convert these into improper fractions first. So how do you make them into improper fractions? You multiply your whole number by your denominator and then add it to your numerator. So your whole number is 5 times your denominator, which is 3, and then plus the numerator, which is 2. So 5 times 3 is 15, plus 2 equals 17. Now your answer is going to become your numerator. So that means 17 will now become your numerator and your denominator stays the same, which is 3. So now you have 17 over 3. So that's 17 over 3 times, you're going to have to do the same thing for this one. So whole number times denominator 
So 6 times 5 plus a numerator, which is 1. 6 times 5, we know, is 30. Plus 1 equals 31. So that means that becomes your numerator, 31 over 5. So now you have that. Now remember, in multiplication and division, you don't need to have common denominators. So you can just go ahead and do simple direct multiplication, right? So 17 times 31. 7 times 1 is 7. 1 times 1 is 1. Put a 0. 3 times 7 is 21. Carry the 2. 3 times 1 is 3. Plus the 2 is 5. Add these two. 7 plus 0 is 7. 1 plus 1 is 2 and then bring down the 5, and you get your product of 527, and 527 becomes your numerator, and your denominator is 3 times 5, which equals 15. And so you have your answer, which is 527 over 15. But remember, this is an improper fraction, so we have to turn this into a mixed number. How do we do that? We just divide. So numerator divided by denominator. So if we cut this part out and do our division, so 527 divided by 15, we know we can't do 5 divided by 27, but we can still do 52 divided by 15, right? So I'm sorry, I said 27 first. So 5 can't go into 15, right? But we can still do 52. So how many times does 15 go into 52? Well, let's find out. If you write our times table here, 15 times 1 is 15. 15 times 2 is 30. 15 times 3 is, as we know, is 45. 15 times 4 is 70. Wait, is that right? No, I'm sorry, 60. My mistake, 60. Well, if you look at this, 60 is greater than 52, right? So we're going to have to go ahead and do 15 times 3, which is 45. So 15 times 3 is just 45. 52 minus 45 we can't subtract 5 from 2, so we're going to have to borrow 1. That becomes a 4. 12 minus 5 is 7. 4 minus 4 is obviously 0. Now you bring down that other 7. Now we, we still have to go on, right? So 15 times 5 is 75. 15 times 6 is 90. Well, 90 is greater than 77, so we're going to have to do 15 times 5, which is 75. You get your remainder of 2. You bring that up and you write R2 for remainder 2. And now you just remember, your quotient, which is 35, will now become, so if we write it over here, I guess. So if our answer for 5 and 2 thirds times 6 and 1 fifth is 35 becomes your, co your whole number. Your remainder becomes your numerator, so 2. And your divisor becomes your denominator, so which is 15. So that means 5 and 2 thirds times 6 and 1 fifths equals 35 over 2 and, fi 2 and 15. So that's that for multiplying two mixed numbers. Now we're done with the multiplication part of this. Now what if we have our division problem with fractions that is dividing a whole number by a unit fraction? Now before we get started, what is a unit fraction? Well, a unit fraction is any fraction with a numerator of one because that's only one unit. So that could be one-fifth, a half, one-third, one-sixteenth, anything like that. And we have to divide a whole number by a unit fraction. So for instance, we could have a whole number of 12 divided by a unit fraction of one-fourth. Okay, so we have that. And remember, a whole number that does not have a, new, a denominator always becomes a 1, right? So the new denominator becomes a 1. So now we have 12 over 1 divided by 1 over 4. So remember this, that in division, like in multiplication, we did direct multiplication, right? But when it comes to division, we can't do direct, multipli like direct division. We have to do what's called the reciprocal method. What is a reciprocal method? That's just when you... You keep your first fraction as it is, so this stays the same, 12 over 1. You change your division sign into a multiplication sign, and you change your second fraction around. So by around, I mean you ch change it upside down. So 1 fourth will now become 4 over 1. So now you have 12 over 1 times 4 over 1. And now since this is multiplication, we can just go ahead and do direct multiplication. So we know for our denominators, 1 times 1 is obviously going to become 1, right? 12 times 4, we know is 4 times 2 is 8, 4 times 1 is 4, and we get our product of 48, 
and 48 becomes your numerator. So you have 48 over 1, and remember, a whole number of the denominator of 1 is still a whole number, right? So 48 over 1 is still the same thing as 48. So that means our answer for 12 over 1 divided by 1 over 4 equals 48. So that was um, that for summary for multiplying and dividing fractions and mixed numbers. Now stick around for more um, videos that are coming up. And we hope you keep on watching them. And we'll see you guys next time.